On February 25, 2021, San Bernardino International Airport, currently the fastest growing airport for air cargo in the United States, tested its airport emergency plan and demonstrated its emergency preparedness. Life is full of uncertainty, and it's safe to say, the past year has taken uncertainty to a whole new level. Though we cannot prepare for every possible circumstance that comes our way, one thing does remain certain. SBD International Airport must remain prepared for emergencies. Welcome to SBD International Airport. I'm Mike Burris, CEO of some of our Southern California-born and amazing organizations supporting our thankfully growing flying public. Yesterday, today, tomorrow, still climbing here at SBD. As an ever-emerging economic engine, during difficult times, we have remained focused and essentially committed to provide our SBD team and its talented regional emergency response partners with the best and most adaptive experiential solutions to potential issues and situations before they happen. Tailoring this to our airport environment allows us to move quickly and effectively when it matters most. Active preparedness keeps us all safe. That is our SBD word. It is imbued in our SBD constitution and code of conduct, and it remains a part of our daily work with the FAA and our growing global aviation and logistics partners. We demand more, so together we achieve the greatest. Thank you for your interest in SBD International Airport. If you are viewing this, you are or will soon be in the fast lane of what we all do collectively when it simply needs to be done. To my motivationally and successfully integrated and invigorated SBD team and strong arm response partners, this triennial emergency exercise is no joke. At SBD, we take safety and security very seriously. To our current and future emergency response professionals, quite simply, thank you from me personally and SBD. Over the last six months, airport personnel from multiple departments, along with mutual aid agencies, have collaborated in the planning of this drill. Due to current CDC restrictions, the planners and participants were met with a new set of challenges while planning this full-scale emergency drill, including touch-free check-in, social distancing, personal protection equipment, simulated victims, plus a handful of walking wounded. The drill was broadcast live to parties that would normally be on site, all while continuing to meet FAA drill criteria based on current policy. Uh, so in normal operating conditions, we would have hosted a whole uh, a list of mutual aid organizations here on site. Uh, with some COVID considerations, we limited participation um, and those modifications were approved by the FAA for the current pandemic. With the help of the FAA for guidance and outside the box thinking from our planning committee, we have prepared a very interesting and exciting drill for you today that will surely put our AEP to the test. The scenario for today's drill involves a Boeing 757 inbound to SPD and a drone. The time is 5 p.m. on a Thursday afternoon. The aircraft has 35 souls on board, including passengers and crew. A side note, the current airport ops team at SBD has been cross-trained in our certified Part 107 UAS drone pilots. On this particular beautiful Thursday afternoon, the ops team is flying a drone on the west end of the airfield. The drone in flight loses signal to home base and accidentally crosses the path of the approaching 757. The drone collides with the aircraft on short final, causing an uncontrolled landing. The aircraft comes to a final stop mid-runway with main gear and fuselage damage. The accident results with 11 walking wounded, 12 incapacitated, and 12 deceased. The following steps are expected to take place in this sequence during response. Tower will initiate the alert via our crash phone. This phone connects Tower, Airport Operations, Airport Fire Station, and San Bernardino County Dispatch. Airport Fire and Ops will make initial response to the scene. At the same time, Airport Security will roll and stand by at staging gates to help with access and escort to mutual aid when they arrive. As mutual aid arrives, they will be guided to the site to support our airport fire crews 
and establish an incident command post. The drill will test our AEP, provide an opportunity for multi-agencies to work together, and help determine if adjustments are needed to our plan. In accordance with FAA standards, a real-life scenario like that developed for this year's full-scale emergency drill would issue an Alert 3, the airport's highest alert level, triggering a full-scale emergency response from the airport, as well as region-wide fire rescue, emergency medical first responders, and hospitals. The coordinated response of local, state, and federal agencies is an essential part of this exercise. So the full-scale exercise which we conducted on February 25th was a test to really evaluate our operational capabilities of our emergency management system in a, in a stressful environment with actual mobilization and deployment of resources to demonstrate coordination and response capabilities. SBD did everything possible to simulate the emergency, including placement of a Boeing 757 with live victims inside the plane and receiving a dispatch from 911 to activate the drill. Battalion 124, uh, drill, drill for a reported aircraft incident, high level San Bernardino International Airport, 1601 East 3rd Street, Shirley Avenue. Uh, need you to get on board and uh, check for uh, victims. Give me a location count. I see medication. Hi there. Hi. Oh. Hi. If you guys are able to walk yourselves out, we appreciate it. Okay, we just made access. We have about uh, 10 to 15 that are walking wounded, walking out out towards treatment. And I would guess we have anywhere from 30 to 35 on board. Traffic for IC. IC from treatment. Where will uh, transport station be located? Okay, for now I got staging located at station 233. And we have uh, bed availability here at the ICP if you need it. Or you can grab a few tablets. Uh, drill terminated. Very quick, I think. Or if I comes there. Uh, drill is complete. Thank you for the assistance. The drill was evaluated in detail by official evaluators. The resulting assessments provided valuable feedback on the efficiency and effectiveness of the airport's procedures. Representatives of various government agencies also participated as official observers of the exercise. I thought it went really good. Um, I thought uh, everybody worked very well together. I thought things um, moved at a good pace. And I think had this been an actual emergency that we would have been able to get all of our patients off scene in a, in a very uh, relatively quick amount of time. Today's drill went extraordinarily well. It was another opportunity to exercise together. Uh, our mutual aid uh, partners here in San Bernardino, in the county, and uh, further out. The SBD International Airport serves the San Bernardino Riverside Metropolitan Area, which ranks as the region's second largest and 13th largest metropolitan area in the United States, with nearly four million people living in the Inland Empire. SBD is perfectly positioned to support growing aviation activity in an increasingly connected world.